Hello guys, welcome to solve this terms of equation a plus b which is equal to 40 and a times c which is equal to 64 find the value of a and b from this three systems of equation solution so in order to find the value of a and b from these systems of equation first let's assign each equation so let a plus b is equal to 40 as equation 1 and and also a times b is equal to 64 so let's assign it as equation 2 now from equation 1 and equa from equation 1 first from equation 1 from equation 1 we have a plus b which is equal to 40 so from here we can find the value of b which is equal to 40 minus a and also let's assign it as equation 3 in the next step we have equation 2 and equation 3 so from from equation 2 and equation 3 we can formulate an quadratic equation so from equation 2 we have a times b which is equal to 64 and also from equation 3 here we have b so let's substitute 40 minus a in place of b here so it will be a into 40 minus a which is equal to 64 now let's distribute this one so it will be 40 times a minus a square which is equal to 64 so let's rearrange this, this equation so let's take this part into the right hand side so the left hand side will be 0 which is equal to let's say 64 minus 40 a plus a square so rearranging it in standard form it will be a square minus 40 a plus 64 which is a quadratic equation so from here we, let's find the value of a so we have a which is equal to 1 b which is equal to minus 40 and c which is equal to 64 so by using a well-known quadratic formula a will be minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a so let's substitute each value a which is equal to minus of minus b is minus 40 plus or minus the square root of b square that's minus 40 square minus 4 times 1 times c is 64 divided by 2 times 1 so from here we have a which is equal to this will be positive 40 plus or minus the square root of this 40 square will be 4 square that's 60 and we have 2 0 minus 4 times 1 times 64 will be 256 divided by 2 now let's subtract 1600 minus 256 it will be a which is equal to 40 plus or minus the square root of well, 1344 you can do it by yourself divide by 2 now we have to factorize this one in order to simplify this value so let's factorize so let's factorize 1 3 4 4 by 2 it will be 6 72 by 2 it will be 672 by 2 1 so it will be 336 by 2 it will be 168 by 2 it will be 84 by 2 it will be 42 
So n by 2 it will be by 2 it will be t only 1. It will be t only 1. So this 1,344 1, will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2 power of 6 times t only 1. So let's substitute this one into this equation so we can find the value of a. So now we have a which is equal to 40 plus or minus the square root of 1, 3, 4, 4 divided by 2. a which is equal to 40 plus or minus when we factorize it it will be to the power of 6 times t only 1 divided by 2. So a which is equal to 40 plus or minus this will be, let's make this a perfect square, so it will be to the power of 4 times to the power of 2. Because we have the same base here, so we can sum up the exponent times t only 1 divided by 2. Then a, which is equal to 40 plus or minus, this will be 2 square, 2 square times this will be 2 times the square root of t only 1 divided by 2. So a, which is equal to 40 plus or minus, it will be 4 times 2, that's 8, square root of t only 1 divided by 2. So a is equal to 40 over 2 plus or minus 8, the square root of t only 1 over 2. So from here we have a, which is equal to 40 divided by 2, which is t only plus or minus 8 by 2 for the square root of t only 1. So from here we have a1 which is equal to t only take plus sign for square root of t only 1 and also a2 which is equal to t only take minus sign for the square root of t only 1. This is the value of a and also Depending upon this value of a, we can find the value of b. So, value of b will be so from equation. So, from equation one, we have a plus b, which is equal to 40. So, I'm going to find the value of since we have a1 and a2, we have b1 and b2. So, let's find b1, a1 plus b1, which is equal to 64. So a b1 which is equal to 64 minus a1 which is equal to oh let's continue here b1 which is equal to sorry here is here is 40 here is 40 so 40 minus of a1 t1 plus for the square root of t1 1 so the value of b1 is equal to 40 minus times t only minus t only minus times plus minus for the square root of t only 1 so b1 is equal to t only minus for the square root of t only 1 and this is and for b2 for b2 a2 plus b2 which is equal to 40 so b2 which is equal to 40 minus a2 so 40 minus we have a2 t only minus 4 the square root of t only 1 so it will be 40 minus t only minus times minus plus 4 the square root of t only 1 and b2 will be t only plus 4 the square root of t only 1 so finally we have solution of a1 b1 which is equal to t only plus 4 the square root of t only 1 and b1 will be t only minus 4 the square root of t only 1 and also a2 b2 which is equal to t only minus 4 the square root of t only 1 and t only plus 4 
the square root of t on e one this will this is the final solution for the given problem we can verify by, by substituting a1 and b1 into equation 1 and also equation 2. So now let's verify. So we have an equation a plus b which is equal to 40. So by using this formula let's see, use a1 plus b1 which is equal to 40. So we have a1 t1 e plus for the square root of t1e1 plus and also b1 that's t1e minus for the square root of t1e1 which is equal to 40. So we have t1e plus t1e which is 40 and this and this will be 0 so 40 which is equal to 40. And for the, se the second case it's a1 times b1 which is equal to 64. So a1 that's t1e plus 4 the square root of t1e1 times and b1 t1e minus 4 the square root of t1e1 which is equal to 64. So this equation is in the form of a square minus b square which is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So we have a t1 and we have b for the square root of t1e1 so it will be a is t one so square minus b is for the square root of t one one square which is equal to 64 so this will be 400 minus 4 square that's 60 times t one one which is equal to 64 so 400 minus this will be 336 when we multiply it and 64. So when, when we subtract 400, uh, 3, 336 from this one, it will be 64, which is equal to 64. So our answer is correct. So by using a similar manner, we can check for A2 and B2. Thank you very much for watching.